Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos, where normal service has resumed after last week's shenanigans. I'm Jason and this is the third tractor to enter Lesney's Matchbox range. It is the 50B John Deere Lance 700 tractor, accompanied by its matching 51B trailer. Both entered the range in 1964 and lasted until 1969. The trailer features a hydro sleeve that allowed it to be tipped and tilted, adding to the pairing's play value. It also originally came with three plastic barrels that would sit inside the tipper, though the chances of finding these secondhand are slim. While my trailer retains its plastic tyres, all four are missing on the tractor. Additionally, the steering wheel on the tractor is broken. Here is a tractor trailer pair in better condition. And this is a real John Deere Lance 700 tractor. As the tractor was painted green all over on all variations, I've opted to not remove the base, which is held together by a rivet. The trailer though is a rather good piece of engineering, with the single axle acting as the tipper pivot as well as holding on the wheels. This means it dismantles easily. Along with the yellow-orange steering wheel that my tractor was missing, the large rear and smaller front hubs were coloured yellow, except on rare variations. These used the red-orange hubs from the earlier 72A Fordson tractor that I've previously restored. Likewise, the grey tyres from the 72A can also be found fitted on earlier examples. Silver trim was applied to both the grille and headlights, or just the grille, or with no trim at all. There were no variations to the casting during its production run, so values are low, aside from those with the hub differences. Heinrich Lanz was an agricultural machinery manufacturer based out of the Baden-Württemberg city of Mannheim in Germany. Founded in 1859, Lanz were acquired via a 1956 merger by American counterpart Deere & Company, better known as John Deere. Production would continue at the Mannheim factory. In 1962, production of the John Deere Lanz 700 tractor commenced from this factory. The Lance 700 engine was a 2.7-litre, four-cylinder diesel unit, capable of producing 53 horsepower. It had a permanent two-wheel drive chassis. These tractors continued to be produced until 1966. The following year, the Lance name was dropped from all products following payment to the final Lance shareholders. With the 100, 300, 500 and 700 models all discontinued in 1966, the final Lance model to be produced was the 25 horsepower 200. It had been introduced in 1966, but ceased production in 1968. On my tractor and trailer, I have now moved on to priming. You will have noticed a moment ago I was priming a plastic steering wheel. Now this steering wheel was not designed specifically for the 50B, so I need to recolour it in the appropriate shade of yellow to match the original since it came 3D printed in black plastic. There are lots of components to prime and colour on this 50 and 51B combination. The existing trailer tyres are coated in gloss null oil prior to colour application. First, chrome yellow on the steering wheel to match the shade of the hubs. Then Tamiya TS35 Park Green for the trailer hopper, trailer chassis and complete tractor. The colour is quite similar to the shade chosen by Lesney, and is again similar to the green used by John Deere. I don't get to use this colour all that often, but it applies smoothly and with great consistency across all of the metal parts. That includes the intricate parts such as the engine on the tractor. Here's a better look at the trailer chassis. And here's the first coat on the tractor. As I said, the quality of the application is outstanding. That's after only one hit. Speaking of hitting, the hubs are secured onto the axles now, with the rears already having had the reproduction tyres fitted. So to reconstruct the trailer, I first fit the hydro sleeve. Next, I must align the tipper, which I loosely hold in position using the hydro sleeve. 
With a hub and tyre already popped onto the axle, I thread it through the loops in the chassis and tipper. Then I can fit the other wheel onto the other end and hammer that secure. Next I fit my 3D printed steering wheel. And then the axle ends on the trailer get some Molotow chrome. After that the grille is coated with the same pen and I use the narrower 1mm pen to finalise the outer edges of the grille. Penultimately the headlights are detailed. And lastly the tractor axle ends. So here is what I started out with. A particularly hopeless looking 50B John Deere Lance 700 tractor with a 51B trailer that has miraculously retained its loose tyres. The tractor had lost its own set and the yellow plastic steering wheel had been virtually destroyed. So while the trailer just needed tidying, the tractor required replacement tyres all round and a replacement steering wheel. So let's take a look at how it appears now. The tractor has a much healthier looking stance. Those big plastic chunky tyres make a big statement indeed towards the overall look. It has been enhanced with chrome trim to the grille and headlights as many of the models would have had as they left the factory. The tractor has also received a new plastic steering wheel to replace the yellow stub of the former. Meanwhile, the trailer has been tidied up and the loose tyres should now be a bit more secure as that Citadel gloss tends to help these tyres adhere to the hubs. As ever, the dab of chrome to the axle ends really helps them stand out too. I'm really pleased with how this restoration has turned out. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and leave a like. Be sure to subscribe for more of the same. None of that cheap tacky nonsense from last week, I promise. Thanks to my Patreon supporters for your continued support. Links to join them are at the end of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.